Welcome everyone to the Music City Open. This is the FPO lead card coverage round one and the front nine. We are out at Mill Ridge to find the Silver Series champion for this event brought to you by the Disc Golf Network. I'm Sarah Hokum here with Holly Finley. Hello, friends and family. I'm so happy to be back here in Nashville, my hometown. I can't believe we have this amazing event and all of these incredibly talented athletes for you to watch. Let's check out hole one. Wow, tight tunnel right off the start. OB left, as you can see, indicated by the white string. OB right, also by the white string in front of the water. You'd like to get a birdie here, but sometimes just hitting the gap feels like an accomplishment. Ella for up first, sponsored by Disc Mania. She's going to throw a tactic on the sidearm line. I like this. Ooh, outside of the gap. As long it as it finishes softly and the angle was a little bit off, it was a little bit too high. Next up, <clears throat> Hannah Blomroos, all the way from Finland. Hannah playing for Innova. She is going to be throwing her AVR X3. Nice standstill through the gap. Park City, love it. The MCO did offer us the option Amy for a tee off song. From Morristown, Tennessee. Yeah. Macy playing for Dynamic. This is her justice. I like this. This needs to skip. Perfect shot. That, uh, that, the line, the OB line kind of tripped it up a bit. Could you imagine if that line stopped it? Ooh. Luckily, it didn't. Missy playing for Discraft. Missy puring the gap. It's a bit high. Is it going to sit in bounds? Oh, Ooh, that looks good. By a couple of hairs. Love it. I think the, the string might have stopped her a little bit. I think so. so. Ella will be putting for three. Great putt to start the round off. Good recovery. So no harm done there. <clears throat> Missy chains out right for her birdie, but it just stops right there. Hannah and Macy with bullseye looks for birdie. That is how you want to start. Intimidating first hole, but also really, really gettable. Agreed. I like that they cleaned up that left side a bit, offering the sidearm line that wasn't really there yes last year. Yes, that is an improvement for sure. So we got a couple of birdies and a couple of pars. That's not a bad way to start off. I love those profile shots. Hole two is up next. This is a par four. First shot, players are going to throw over this set of trees to land on this side. And their next shot will most likely be up this gap on that left side. There is also an over the top route that we'll see some players take. It's tucked up in here with a little bit of roll away potential. Hannah will be leading off. This is a destroyer. That looks to be in a prime position to attack the basket. Macy, looking at a similar line, actually throws it flat instead of on Heiser. This is her Raider. If you don't get high enough and straight enough, I feel like it makes the second shot a little bit more difficult. Ella, a very big distance thrower. I'm very curious to see where she ends up on this hole. Wow. Wow. That was her DD3. So she's the farthest up the hill. 
Nissy with a thrasher. Looks really good. Flipped up to flat. Four great shots. Macy going over the top. It's a felon, so it should have the stability to come back. Wow, what a great a shot. But a putt. So it's deep, but like she said, that's a putt. Oh, Missy needed a little bit more height and a little bit more angle on that to get into the green. You do not want to be over there. I might or might not know from experience. <laughs> so Ella is so far up the hill. She's now has a like a spike heiser approach to the pin. Oh, oh come on. Get through those twigs. That was a bit maybe too on the, spiky. Maybe it'll be on the other side. She can have a long look at it. Henna, just way up there. Just a pure look at the gap. She can do a standstill into the green. She must have got way up there. Get in the hole. Oh, oh my wow. Goodness. And ace running. That was beautiful. Perfectly played textbook. Ella in a little bit of trouble. Go, 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 go. That was a nice out, though. Yeah, that's a look at it. This is for par. Oh, solid attempt. Oh. And Missy in trouble over here. Very smart. Don't Eight. try to get in the basket. Just get near the basket and let's move along. And Macy with a look for birdie. Well played, Macy. I really love that she took the Heiser second shot and got into the green with that. Hannah will also be looking at a birdie putt here. That's definitely a great way to start. Birdie, birdie on the first two. Macy also getting birdie, birdie on the first two. Missy tap it in for the par. And Ella takes the bogey. Hannah and Macy trying to separate themselves already. Here we are on hole three, 646 feet par four. You wanna have a smash of a drive, look out for that OB left. You got plenty of space on the right to work with. The second shot is extremely important. If you're in a good position, you can attack the green for a birdie. If not, placement is what you need to do. And you can have a nice, simple upshot into the green, get yourself a par, and move along. Hannah up first. This is a destroyer. That is looking good. She sends it way out there. Ooh, that tailwind pushed it over to the line, but she is safe and in good, even better position, honestly, the closer you can get to that left side. Then you've got to look at the basket. You can attack it for birdie. Macy pumping out that raider once again. That's a little low, and I mean, it'll be fine. It's just that Missy could have gotten a lot further than that. Yeah, those upper branches, it, it is kind of a visual difficulty trying to miss those upper branches, but still throw it up that hill with that right to left slope. Yeah, Ella, I feel like this out there. Same thing for Ella. She could have gotten a bit further, but nevertheless, those are four good inbound shots. Missy looking to throw this to that left gap to give her access to the green. That looks
looks good. Yeah, she hit that perfectly. That should swing in really nice. Ella's going for the sidearm green, I think, here. Oh, my goodness. It's a pump. Swing. Go, 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 go. Oh, that had some ground play. A little bit left. So she'll have a little maybe sidearm approach to the pin. Macy also trying to get to that green. Just stay out of the woods. Mmm, no. no. Mm. And you saw how the terrain sort of sloped down in that direction. It's easy to do that chop down with the overstable disc. Let's see if Hannah can get up there. Hannah, this looks like another destroyer from a standstill. It's probably only about 250, 300 feet. And she pushes it a little far to the left of the basket. Oops. Get, oh. You could hear Missy says, oh my gosh, get left. And that just came out a bit to the right. Macy pitching up into the green, and that should be a fairly simple putt for her. Ella forced to throw an Annie sidearm. Sometimes these are fun. Let's see if it goes in. Go, go, go. Oh! <laughs> she should be good at that shot. Uh, she's got to aim at the person's stomach, not their head, right? Is that her ultimate background? <laughs> And this is henna for Birdie. Oh, she just needed a bit more height on that. Really well played hole, however. It sure was. Missy, this is her par putt from the shul. Solid. Knocks it in. Nice recovery. She had to let that uh, that mis-execution on the upshot go so she could clear her mind and make that putt. Nice putt by Macy. Hole three playing as the eighth most difficult hole, averaging 4.5 in the FPO division. Shout out to Evelina Solanon, who got the only birdie in the field today. Out of all the people, only one of us. So Macy drops back one, everyone else with pars. Henna out to an early lead, going into the fourth hole. Hole number four is a par four, 675 feet, has OB on the left side and some really rough foliage on the right side. Players are gonna wanna throw a full distance drive out to the right side to open up the gap. A second shot, fairway driver or mid to the gap, keeping it nice and tight at that pinch point. Henna is up first. This is a destroyer, you guessed it. That looks to be in a prime position. Great shot. Yeah, the miss here is kind of just letting it fade off to the left where the OB is. There is a bit of a right to left wind. As long as that doesn't skip, it should be okay. All right. The grass is kind of thick out here in this spring weather, so it's not getting so many skips. I remember last fall, everything was skipping out that left side. I uh, like how sh how far right she hung that. Gonna yeah. let the disc work back in. That was a cloud breaker. It was a butte. I don't know if it broke the clouds, but it's certainly in a great spot on the fairway. Macy taking a very similar line. Yeah, putting that late hyzer flip turn on it to keep it right. Lining them up really well for that gap shot on the next shot. 
and the OB does continue down the left side. Wow, really well done. Into the green. That is a great shot. Great hyzer into the green. She's inside the circle for birdie. That looks to be low enough that it should be safe. Oh, Look at that. Oh, bases the it. the basket. She did take the skinny route, but Incredible. nonetheless, she's there parked for the birdie. Henna with a standstill into the green. Oh, another. Come on, stay. Yeah, another Looks trickle. She'll have a look at birdie as well. That was just a putter. Yeah, no big deal. Come on, skip. Ella also getting the inside the circle birdie look. From about 35. Oh, I love it. As wow. soon as I saw the height on it. It's beautiful. We've got a lot of construction going on in the surrounding areas. Let's look at this again. Doesn't phase her, though. Wow. Full extension. Perfectly in the chain. Center cut. What a putt. Sounds like Jurassic Park out there. Oh, it is. Oh. Off the top band for Ella, so she'll have a drop in for Birdie. Yeah, high right. Ella dropping the par. And Macy dropping in yet another birdie uh, to match what we saw from Henna and Missy. Missy getting her first birdie of the day. Trying to get something going. Henna getting another. And it's all knotted up. Three, two, one. Moving on to a new hole. This is going to be hole five which is completely different than the last one last year absolutely so you've got a uh, hyzer or an annie shot you have to decide which way you can get to the basket the best and i think that really depends on the wind and if you throw too deep you do have an out of bounds string in front of the creek but you can get your disc back it's a very shallow creek i feel like it plays a little bit longer than 320 yeah, I mean, the sign says 270. <laughs> oh, okay. So I yeah. think 320. I arranged it in practice, and it's okay. definitely 320, not 270. But the first day of practice, I was like, why am I only throwing 250 feet? That makes sense. I was very confused. Missy up next. I like the height on it. Is it going to swing and get enough ground play to get a putt? Yes, it is. Macy going with a sergeant. First time we're seeing her throw this disc today. It flips up a little bit. I like I, it. I like that too. Ooh. Another park job from Macy. You know, it's, you don't even have to putt when you throw it like that. Sign me up. Wow, skyrockets from Ella. Super spike hyzer. Will it chop? Well, it was a splice. So do we call that a splice hyzer? Yeah, I'll go with that. Okay. I was hoping for the tombstone, but it's like everybody's got a putt at it. She's got the height on it. Come on, oh. give it to her. <laughs> oh. oh, my goodness. Love to see Good that. Good look at it. And Ella from outside the circle for birdie. Two left. Man, also gets a lot of metal. You got to be a little timid on this since that OB is right behind the basket. You don't want to full send it. 
Oh, no. Luckily, we've got Macy to redeem the card with her drop-in birdie. Bazinga. Thank you, Macy. Surprisingly, only 12% of the field got this one. I mean, it's not an automatic birdie, but it's no. one of the more simple holes on the course. Agreed. And a tap tap from Henna for her par. So Macy taking one back from the card, tying up at the lead with Henna. And then the next hole, hole six, this is another new hole. We're made first. We create immersive and tangible experiences that elevate your brand and engage audiences. Whatever you visualize, we bring it to life through design and fabrication in our Los Angeles and Nashville facilities. Our artists and craftsmen create everything from stage and set designs to retail environments, trade show displays, and large-scale props. Welcome to Made First. Let's build the impossible together. And we're back to hole six, par three, 251, plays uphill, probably playing more like 270. This is a left to right turning hole, really plays to a sidearm in order to get that sharp curve into the actual green. But a lot of players are gonna throw a slow turning disc to end up right about there, give themselves a putt for that birdie. Macy going to her sidearm. Ooh, I like how flat it is. This is a Will rise. Swing in the gap. Oh, yes, ma'am. Wow, look at that. That looked great. There's the basket. Oh, my gosh. Did she throw it? She threw it too far. Look at that. And I've wondered if some of these big arms will take like a spike hyzer approach. So, Henna is throwing a rock oh, that three. Looks like it could cut roll. Is that going to flatten out? I mean, that's not a bad shot. Yeah, she probably wanted it just a bit farther to hit the gap. Actually, she circles, might be at the gap. Yeah, circle's edge would be nice, though. What is this? This is the, the right gap that you were talking about. What is this creative approach, Missy Gannon? Thanks for showing me something new I might use tomorrow. Ella might be doing the same thing. This is a destroyer. So now this is what I was talking about, the high spike hyzer crash into the tree route. Uh, front side, that's all that. that matters. That's a, that's see, just a 15-footer. That's what's up. Hmm. I wonder if you see some people change their game plan after they watch this coverage. Henna from way downtown. Get up, get up. Nice looking line on that putt. Yeah, if she had more height, it might have been in. Macy looks like she's got a hallway. This, is there a hole big enough for a disc? I don't know. I'd probably walk up and check the width myself. She might just be trying to lay this up. Yeah. Smart moves, Macy. Pick Smart big moves. Holes. She may be young, but she's no dummy. Missy Gannon for birdie. From the the right side gap. Sneak route. Oh, Get in there. Okay. Oh, that's what's up. There's a new fairway in town, folks. Yeah, I just learned something. And Ella with that spike hyzer that got through, also with a really good putt. In the chains. Yes, proposal putt, birdie. Count it. You heard the players discussing can I go? Because it is a rule that you are not allowed to go out of order. So you're supposed to ask permission before you putt out if you are not the furthest away from the basket. Couple of birdies, couple of pars. Very well played hole. All right, here we are on hole seven, par five. 
You want to have a really long drive so you can have a nice shot through this gap here. There are two gaps, this one where the drone is flying and then that one directly to the left. The second shot needs to be more pushed right because as you can see, we swing around the corner here is the basket. So you don't wanna be pinched up against the woods on the left, um, but also going into the green, it's kind of blind if you don't get your shots far enough up the fairway. So I'm curious to see someone like Ella, you know, is she gonna be able to eagle this with her ability to throw like 450? So Missy gets a beautiful shot out in a good position. Looks like she's shaping something. So she's definitely gonna get maximum distance here. That is turning nicely. You have to get about 400 feet if you wanna play the hole that tight. Otherwise you're gonna be blocked. You wanna play it out to the left. That looks good. Yeah, this is a defender. So control distance driver, way out to the left. That's a great spot. Yeah, the miss here is really just sending it right where that OB line is and not having a shot for a big second distance shot. Wow, Henna put some air under that one. It's going places. That looks where she wants to be. Yep, she's far enough. She's lined up with the gap. She'll be able to get big distance on that second shot. Missy probably wants to play this either straight or even a little bit to the right. She doesn't want that to fade left. That looks good. Yeah, the farther left you are, the more uphill that next shot is. And as you can see, um getting a glimpse of the main fairway, but there is another fairway to the left there. You just see it here. So if players wanted to be really greedy, they could do like a flex shot or an ante through that left gap. But as Sarah said, you know, that can be tough if you land over there. Macy gets a great pump over to the right side. Ella going to the cloud breaker. She's in great position, but she's still over 400. She's probably 450, 475 away from the pin. Pumps one just straight out there. No sense in trying to get the eagle here from that position, I suppose. What do you mean, no schmeagle? <laughs> Look at the height on this thing. Hannah also playing it out to the right. Ooh, that was great. Okay, so at this point, the basket is still pretty far away. You just want to make sure you don't crash early into the trees left or behind that group of trees on the right, you have to swing in through the gap. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, circle circle two putt for birdie. That's the most you can ask for here. Macy with a trust. As long as it just gets through the gap, it should be fine. Even better. Perfect. Edge of the circle. Macy is playing really well so far. Oh, look at this. So far you can see the basket. So simple approach here, and Ella can guarantee herself a birdie. That'll do it. Very smooth. Hannah also looking at the pin. This is her P2. Simple approach shot. It's high, but I think it'll drop just fine. Oh, yeah. Oh, just fine indeed. At the base. Mm. And Missy for her birdie putt. About 50 feet. It's too high, Missy. Oh, no, and that looks like trouble. Back into Narnia. Oh, I hope she has a look at the basket. Macy for birdie. To be so close. Macy gonna tap out real quick and get out of the way. All right, that's not bad at all. Oh yeah, just the stretch out. 
Yes. Great, great recovery. Scramble from mm-hmm. Missy Gannon. For the par. And Ella, this is her birdie putt. Love it. And Hannah doesn't have a birdie putt. She has a birdie drop in. And there were only two birdies in the field today. And you saw them right here, folks. We picked the right card to watch. Great birdie by Henna. Henna and Ella. Wow. Only uh, 41% of the whole entire field even got a par or birdie on that hole. Tough hole. It is a long one. So Henna goes up one on Macy at minus four. Hella also gets under par with that birdie. Couple more here on the front. This is hole eight. The par four, the first shot is a chip to your preferred landing zone, either right about here, so maybe 200 feet, or you want to go 275 or 300 to get to this other opening for your second shot to approach this green. It's a very short hole for a par four, um, but it takes very good placement. So we'll see how they attack it. A lot of sidearms off this first tee. Yes, this is a very strategic hole. You really need to know where you're going to land and what you're going to do for your second shot. That looked a little short of that. She'll have that gap. first gap or maybe that like over the top Spike Heiser or Annie root. And that is favorable. That could have been so much worse. I think she ricocheted in front of the Mando. Ooh. Macy going felon, probably looking for that middle gap. And not quite there. I mean, you can hit the gap, but it's just going to make the second shot that much tougher. So it doesn't look like anybody's really getting to the spot yet. No, Missy's got the move on this one, though. That might be good enough for the middle. That's it. Hey. <laughs> But that's the far, far gap, isn't it? Not the middle gap. That is the middle. Uh, I think that actually is the middle gap. Oh, it is? So henna going over the top. I knew it. This is a road runner. Oh, look at that. She'll have a long putt. Dang, like a 60, 70 footer maybe? Yeah, and that's still for birdie. So she's now back in position. Yeah, that's fine. Ella looked like she might be going right side over the top. She could swing around this tree and land in the circle. I mean, hey, that'll do all day. I wonder if she wanted to play this short. I'm thinking gap. she did. Interesting. Uh, Macy's got a hyzer through the middle gap. Ooh, that looks great. Little flare skip to the basket and mm. yet mm. another park job Thank you. for Birdie. But Missy, for me, is in the primest of prime positions. Yes. If you want to throw a forehand. Looks like she turned it over. Looks like a buzz in her hand. Turned it over a little bit, but she is inside the circle. Yeah, That's you know. perfect range for Missy Gannon. 25 or so. Hina from downtown. No, too right, not enough height. But that'll be fine, because now she has a simple par putt. Count it. Missy snagging the birdie. And it looks sunny, but it was very chilly today. Yeah, probably what, 40, low 40s? Mm-hmm. And light variable winds, which is much better than our practice rounds. Ella for birdie. Another one. And that's a good scramble from Hina when she hit that first available. Luckily went on the correct side of the Mando and was able to get her par. A 
Macy, just another little tap-in birdie. Birdie making machine. Making it look easy. <laughs> this was one of the easiest holes, second easiest hole in the course. 41% of the field birdied that one on the day. Only 12% bogey or worse, so that Check one. Out. Hannah and Macy tied at four under. Missy just one back, Ella just two back of that. I mean, this is getting, this is really great. They're playing awesome, getting all these birdies. Just one more hole on the front. Here we are on hole nine. Really what you wanna do is land in this left corner, which can give you an open shot into the basket. But if you don't, you got a lot of room to work with on the right. The OB does continue along the left side, so you're gonna have to navigate through that gap or up and over. This is a par four. Uh, however, if you land in prime position, you can have a look at a three. We've got a little bit of a shorter tee than we did last year, thus making the tee shot a little easier and more accessible for a majority of the field. Ella with a simple chip hyzer up to that landing zone that we spoke about in the corner. And that was an MD3, so just a mid. Um, I think most of the rest of the players will be throwing drivers. I would agree with that. Missy holding on to her thrasher. She, and that's low, mm, but she's got enough speed on it, it that it should get there. Is it, though? Uh, oh, my gosh. That looked wrong out of her hand, but I think she snuck into the inbounds. Yep. They shortened the tee, so I feel like it's just... Mm, I agree. Last year, that wouldn't have been inbounds. Macy with more than enough distance and power to get to that corner pocket. I this, like the looks of that. This is a defender... Plenty safe and left. That's great. Hanging out next to Ella. Hannah clubbing down just a bit to a Thunderbird. Champ Thundy. Plenty of distance and really nice on that left side. She'll have access for a birdie look. So Missy is starting in the out of bounds, working her way in bounds with a nice Anheuser shot over Ooh, the top. That looks a little right. I don't know if that's. In, Hopefully, it's out of that bush. You there know? are some. Tr there are some bushes on that right side. If you go too far, Macy just chipping. Oh, oh no 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 no! That's that going was supposed to be a Heiser. Great OB, dude. Uh, and that's kind of the same mistake she made with that forehand we saw earlier in the round where she chopped it down a little too hard. It's a little too flattened out. And Ella, Ella going for the pin. Look at that this. That needs to hyzer. Full freaking sin, oh, dude. it's a little far right. But she is at the edge of the circle, so she ought to be able to pitch out. And Oh, it's OB. Out of bounds. There's OB right. Dirty. Dang it. Henna, who can actually see the pin. Yeah, if she keeps it low enough, she could get all the way there. Turn, turn. No, that's going to fade into that bush. I know oh, that all too well. That is, oh, ow. Maybe she could stretch out and get a little pitch up in there. Yeah, nobody really throwing that second shot the right way. But Macy oh, gets grabbed by those trees outside of circle one. That's some meat on the bone now. It's not really what you want to be putting for from right there. And look how thick it is oh. in there. Where's Missy? Where is she? Speaking of meat, hopefully Missy doesn't leave any meat on those. Just, just sling it, Missy. Thickets. Yikes. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's out. It's out. Money. All right. Whew. I mean, once you're in something like that, the best you can hope for is to just get out. I mean, a good position is like a double bonus. Hannah also scrambling, looking for a disc size hole. And these shots are just a testament to how rough the rough Ooh, is here. That was really good. Yeah, it was. Oh, there's another one. I mean, look at this. I mean, the shot you have to throw, unless you're where Hannah was, is just a completely look blind at turnover. There it is. <laughs> Okay, based it. Long putt. Missy Gannon. This is for par. I've seen her do it before. 
from 70. That's no. not going to do it, but, no. you know. It's fine for a tap in. Yeah, this is literally one of the hardest holes on the course. And Macy from the Thorns. And this is after the out-of-bounds shot. Well, that's not in either, but you know what? It's another drop-in. Looks like she got a little bit of st stickery. Yeah, she'll have some friends over to the next tee pad. Hannah for par. Come on. There it is. Her putt's looking good Whew. today. Hannah Blomroos. So what's up? Why is she eyeballing the basket like that? I don't know. Maybe maybe it was uh, saying something to her. It was probably talking back. Mm-hmm. Macy tapping in the double. Who? What a tough hole! And even Ella gets the bogey. And they all had great drives. You saw it was just the fault of the second shot. Yeah, and I mean nobody got that birdie on the day. It's playing as the fourth most difficult hole. You know, only 32% got the par. Henna being one of those. She maintains a lead as everyone else falters on the final hole of the front nine. We appreciate you tuning in. It has been a fun front half of round one, day one. We hope you check out the back half. I'm Holly Finley. I'm Sarah Hokum. Let's look at a leaderboard. We've got Henna on top. We've been watching that. Missy and Macy and Ella are all still in the lead. We are so lucky we picked this card. Shout out to Kat, Jess, Holly, and Deanne for staying at even.